फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेक लाइफ और आज हम एक अपनी एक नई प्रॉब्लम के बारे में बात करना जा रहे हैं तो वो है कि ओरेकल इलेवन जी डेटा बहुत से लोगों के पीसी पे नहीं वर्क कर पा रहा है तो उनका प्रॉब्लम एज आई गेट टू नो कि ये है कि उन्होंने इंस्टॉल तो उसे कर लिया पर वो एक एरर जनरेट कर रहा है ब्राउजर पे ना खोलने के लिए तो चलिए उस एरर को हम हटाना सीखते हैं वैसे तो उस एरर को हटाना बहुत आसान बात है पर आज मैं आपको स्टेप बाय स्टेप ओरेकल को इंस्टॉल्ड प्लस अगर उसमें एरर आता है हमारे इस इंस्टॉलेशन में तो उसे हटाना भी सिखाएंगे और अगर नहीं आता है तो उसका अलग से तरीका भी आपको बताएंगे तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं तो सबसे पहले आपको इस ओरेकल की साइट पे जाना है और यहां से आपको डाउनलोड्स पे जाना है और डाउनलोड्स पे जैसे आप अपना कर्सर लेकर आओगे तो यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हो इलेवन जी ओरेकल डेटा बेस इलेवन जी आई थिंक मैंने डाउनलोड पे क्लिक कर दिया था इट्स ऑल्सो शोज यू ओरेकल ट्वेल्व सी बट इट्स नॉट ऑफ योर टाइप इफ यू आर ओरेकल सॉरी यू आर यूजिंग एंड यू आर आ कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट सो यू शुड प्रिफर ओरेकल डेटा बेस इलेवन जी एक्सप्रेस एडिशन सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट बिकॉज देर आर सो मैनी डेटा बेस विच ओरेकल have but uh, as a student you should use oracle database and actually in this database oracle 11g is especially made for those student who using the 64 bit pc and unable to use my sql so for their purpose they built this uh, oracle 11g and now just accept the license and Uh, I should uh, downloaded it for Windows 64 bit because my PC is 64 bit. Otherwise, you can choose as per your own system requirement. But uh, before download, you should uh, take precautions that whether already in your PC the Java is installed or not. If your Java is not installed, then you should not download it because if you download it and then extract it and then try to set up it, then it will create a big error and maybe possible chances that uh, it struts in your system and unable to delete. You cannot be deleted because it struts in your system. So. first you have to install java and if you want to install java and yes uh, if you install java then you have to set the path so you should prefer my previous video i have tell there how to install java and set the path so get started towards oracle database so i have already downloaded it this is my extracted file i will show you my rar file if there is available ha this is my ex rar file this will you get when you downloaded it and after downloaded it when you extract it it will convert it into a folder and in that folder you get disk 1 and in disk 1 you get three uh three files uh, two hours folder sorry two folders two file folders and one application setup then you have to click on setup it requires administration permission so i will give him administration permission so here is preparing to installed 
so i should take break to my speech and now you can see there it's extracting and you can observe how it is installing So this is the welcome installation and click on next, select the agreement, click next. Now here you don't have to set anything. If you try to set this file, it will destroy your setup. So simply get next. Yes. Now here you have to prepare a password. So please take a password and then click on next. Now here simply install and uh, the installation will start. So as soon as possible the installation will be completed we will be back so don't go anywhere i think you should see this so guys don't get confused it uh, fills twice or thrice on the same dialog box so don't get afraid that uh, my installation is incompleted and uh, goes back so, uh, nothing else is happening here so just see this By the time it uh, get completed, uh, again we are going to check our Java. So simply type CMD and open it and go for Java. It seems that Java is working and check for Java compiler. So it's also working so we have confirmed that java is working very perfectly so now we have to wait for our database configuring because after the installation the database will be configured and it takes two to four minutes So as you can see in my on my desktop the icon is created and now it creates the service and configure the database in the installation itself so just watch it
I think guys we should take a short break because the length of the video is going too long and it creates problem when you downloaded it. So I think after configuring the database uh, we will be back in this video so till then stay tuned. So as you can see guys that uh, install has been completed and f get finished it. So we can refresh it and try to open it and see what happened I think two tabs are open simultaneously so I should stop one So here we don't get any error during installation but if you get any error so just get restart your PC by cutting all the browser tabs just get start your PC and after PC don't open the internet connection and try to open just like that I have opened my database sorry <coughs> My database and it will definitely work so after you go to this screen just go to application express here it shows you like this so you now you think that here what we will give our username we didn't create the username previously we created only password so here it gives a example and you only use this so just type system and the password you have installed previously you have said sorry you have set previously during the installation so I will give simply mysql common password tiger and get login and see it get login you can see welcome system I have login in it now I will create a new database so my database name is Scott one as you can see that I have earlier also created a database so Scott one Scott one and password similarly tiger tiger and click on create workspace now it creates a new schema or you can say a database user so that you can use a separate scott one as a separate user you can use as a separate user as you can see successfully created workspace scott one to begin click here to login now you can login only to your database here it gives you scott one scott one and the password is you tiger click on login now everything is done uh, and I have not told you how it is work it works on local host local host only local host as you can see uh, local host IP just like that this is the IP and this is the port number most of the time when you work continuously and your PC is busy that time may happen that your database cannot connect because your port number this 8080 is busy so just do one thing that just free your PC from all the application close all the application restart your PC and then try to connect it so here we go to SQL workshop And here just simply go to SQL command and as you can see that your SQL work but uh, uh, sorry SQL command is open now here you can create table for example I will show you how to create a table
so this is the uh, syntax you can say for creating a table in sql now most of the people say um, have uh, this type of queries if it generated error so we have to write it again for example i will create this type of um, say this type of error so here the uh, query will be run by control plus enter now it says you can see that missing right parenthesis this type of error and here you get the advantage that you can add it in this statement only you don't have to do like uh, uh, right click on push right button on your keyboard and try to get that statement again like uh, as you can do sql my sql plus um, before so here you can edit just simply this and clear make a combination control plus enter and you can see table created so this these are some advantages of this type of uh, things and uh, now and when your works has been done just go to this corner and get logout and you can see it get logout and click cross so thank you friends for seeing this video and uh, if you like this video give thumbs up and subscribe my channel and from the last time i will also say that that please give suggestions so that we provide you the best solution so have a nice day